Yeah, you're with the tight ends group now. How is that uh, going here? You have some slim numbers so far, but how's it going for you? Basically? Yeah, it's been it's been great. Actually, I've coached less tight ends in, in my previous job, so the four I have is uh, really that's, that's a lot. How, so how small has the group been before? I've had two before, oh. so through through a spring ball. So this this is this is fun. You know, you can, you can get some reps to everybody and and uh, not wear them down. And uh, a good group of guys. You know, they're all, they're all hungry. They're young. Um, and some guys are like like Colin Moore, mm-hmm. uh, who moved over from quarterback. So they're you know he, he, he's ready to get in the mix as well. And, uh, good group, Gavin coming off uh, redshirt last year, so um, I'm fired up. Uh, they said you've been more of a hands-on coach than me. What they've been used to, not afraid to like throw them around a little bit. Well, I, w- I kind of want to get in there with them. I want to have some fun with them, but also help them. Um, it's. Uh, we're focusing on the on the basics, our footwork and, and hand placement, and we're spending a lot of our individual time doing those things. And so, uh, there are some drills where I have to get involved. And uh, I got my toe stepped on the other day, so uh, it's a little bit different than quarterbacks. You don't get your, your feet yeah. stepped on. So, but uh, uh, no, th- th- they've been a great group so far. Did the first six practices, and um, you know, they've, they've they've grown. You've talked about how it's a young group. We kind of know what could be the cons of that. Are there any pros with having you know four young players? Yeah, they're hungry. Um, each of them want to earn a starting job, and so that's top of mind for them. Uh, uh, you know, and they see opportunity, and so at every meeting, every practice, they come ready to go. So that, that makes it fun for a coach. Yeah. When we're up there, just watching McAllen Castles, he just kind of is eye catching and draws your attention. What do you think makes him such a special player? Well, just gifted. I mean, God given talent. He runs like a gazelle. You know, he's tall. He's strong. And he's He's putting on a weight, uh, he's getting stronger, and he's just growing in, in the system. Uh, terminology, uh, understanding where he's supposed to be, uh, using his body to his, his advantage. And so he has all that athletic ability, and uh, you know, we're just tapping into it. And uh, I'm excited to see his progress you know, through the spring um, and into fall camp. Can you see him having benefited from the red shirt rule where he got some game time and whatnot? Oh, absolutely. I, I think that's a great rule. You have a chance to get some some game time in, get your feet wet. Uh, you're not pressed to have the responsibility of knowing and having all that pressure on your back there um, at the tight end position in terms of you know run blocking and, and, and running routes and catching the ball, making plays. And so him having that opportunity to see that and now taking it in and continue just the, the grind, the daily grind and, and maturing daily uh, is going to just help him grow leaps and bounds this off season. What's it like not having Ray Hudson in the room? been there for so long yeah it's like grandpa i think they call him grandpa and so we had a little chuckle about it and uh, first meeting we kind of talked about him and but uh you know i think with the guys that are here he'll always be with them just because he was such a a great friend and teammate to them and so uh you know they're they're excited to continue to um on that the path that he wanted to be a great tight end here and that's what we're, we're, we're working for how's gavin doing Gavin has been doing great. He's had really two real good practices where he's just been locked in in terms of, of his technique and, and, and uh, striking in the run, run game. He made some great catches today. Um, and uh, so he, I think his confidence is, is gaining. And it's fun to see him kind of run around with a smile on his face and, and doing those things. Do you think he profited from the red shirt year? I do. I think any time you have a chance to take a step back and, and see the game at a different level, uh, it, it really opens your eyes. Sometimes you can get stuck, you know, right in the moment and kind of you're, you're, too, you're too deep in there and, and, you know, you're trying to learn something the coach is trying to teach you. And it's harder at, at that point. And then when you, you're able to take a step back and really see the bigger picture and go, oh, yeah, okay, that's, that's what he means. That's, this is how I fit in. Uh, that, that, that can only help. Okay, you're seeing him, are you seeing him develop a bit more as a run blocker as well since he's added that weight in the red shirt here? Yes, he, he's done a great job. He's a powerful young man. I mean, he, he's not as uh, stature, you know, he's not, a, he's not like Ga- uh, McCallan, but uh, I mean, he's got some power. He can run, uh, and so he's doing some nice things, and uh, we're focused on just bringing it every day and doing it every day. You guys good? Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah, absolutely.